Today, there are hundreds of churches in Broome County. The first Catholic church wasn't built until 1834, and it is still standing. Fox 4's Amy Hogan takes us inside what's known as the Mother Church in Binghamton. Soaring ceilings, 150 tons of marble, stained glass. Magnificent. Before St. Patrick's Church was built, this hill on Leroy Street was empty. And in fact, there were no Catholic churches in the southern tier. There were 10 Irish Catholic families at the time. One of those families was about to have a wedding. James White, an Irish immigrant, wanted to marry Rhoda Waterman a Protestant. But he was Catholic and she was Episcopal. That's a no-no. James and Rhoda had to get married outside because his Irish guests would not step foot in an Episcopal church. The Irish said, no, 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 nothing, not going to do anything with the Church of England. Absolutely not. It was that wedding that triggered a plan to build a place of worship for Binghamton's Catholics. And who was behind it? A group of Protestants, led by Rhoda's father, Colonel Waterman. They wanted to contribute land on the corner of Front and Leroy, but it was flat. Flat land? The Irish community couldn't bear the thought of that. Oh, no, 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 we, we want it on a hill like the churches in Europe. Which is why St. Pat's landed here. The first building was a small white church built in 1834, just in time for a flood of Irish immigrants. And the Irish came in droves, in droves. Needing more space, the church hired architect Isaac Perry to design this cathedral-style structure in 1868. Known for his work designing the castle on the hill on the city's east side, Perry had been making a name for himself all over the state. He did nine churches around New York State, and four of those were here in Binghamton. While those designs are not considered revolutionary... Uh, but they are magnificent. St. Pat's Church became a big part of life for the Irish community here in Binghamton. My great-grandfather was baptized here, married here, and even buried in St. Pat's Cemetery on Riverside Drive. The same can be said for a lot of other Irish families. My family has been in this church for six generations. It was those generations of parishioners who would build it into what it is today. These stained glass windows shipped from Germany a few at a time, churchgoers paying as they could. But this church is unique in the sense that every other window tells the story of St. Patrick. If you look closely, he's had holding a shamrock in his hand. By 1928, they had a full set. This was the last window that came. The building has seen a lot of changes. The original steeple was removed in the early 1900s. This Celtic cross added in the 90s. Inside, the mark of the Irish remained very much alive. In Binghamton, for Fox 40 News at 10, I'm Amy Hogan.